Well, I'm here in the bus. I don't know if you can hear me over the uh, the engine, which is actually in the back, but I've also got some um, defroster blowing and things like that. But And I'm waiting for my wife and the instructor to get in the vehicle. Um, but uh, today's my day uh, in the uh, bus for lessons. We're getting ready to leave the campground. I just had a nice talk with the owner of the campground, uh, who disagrees a little bit on some areas with our um, um, instructor, but we'll get her done. Somebody's coming in, and there's the bandit girl. And Eve is coming in. Getting ready to go on an epic drive today. And this is Terrence, our instructor. We found him through escapees. And he took my wife on a trip yesterday that any other day I would have described it as the route from hell. <laughs> but um, she, and Terrence, there was a cliff on that one side of the road, was yes. there not? Yeah, that, so some people think there Sharp was... Sharp points coming. Which, yes, it was. I was just a passenger and I was white knuckling. So Terrence, how long have you been, been uh, teaching people how to drive? Uh, I don't know, probably five, six years. Five, six years? And how did my wife do yesterday? Great. She did great. I would drive, I would let her drive me across country. Yeah, I would too. I wouldn't drive. I'd just stay in the bedroom and sleep. <laughs> she did a great job, and I'm going to sign off now uh, so that I'm not trying to film as I'm driving. So we're heading down here. We're going to take a left, and we're going to get out of this uh, park, and I'm sure he's going to take me on some really... So our first trip and our first, um, my first driving experience, um, he decided he was going to take us up to this park and back into a site uh, with nobody guiding. And we ended up like this and we're stuck. And I don't know how anybody's going to come in and get us out because this is a dead end down here. This is a lake over here with a with what can best be described as a cliff going over the edge and then we've got ourselves in a pickle. And of course the water is saturated into the ground and the ground is saturated. Oh, chestnuts. Clearly we weren't the first ones to end up like this. But as you can see, we're in pretty good. And when you have a 43 foot, umpteen billion pound bus stuck between a hill and a cliff, you got yourself an issue. So right now my wife is calling for roadside assistance and not quite sure how we're going to tell people where we are because it's, it's a state park, Burr Oak State Park, and it's uh, out here in the middle of kind of nowhere. So this is going to be an interesting day. And the dog is inside. She's petrified. Um, my wife is uh, taking it like a tuber, but not the happiest person in the world. Monitor and adjust. Monitor and adjust. Now I just have to figure out how the hell are we going to get out of this mess? Well, as I said before, we're stuck. Do you mind being on camera? You mind being on camera? No, I don't mind. So this is a gentleman from uh, Curtis Towing. Uh, don't blame me, it was the driving instructor. Okay. So he wanted to teach me how to back up like a trucker. And there was no spotter or anything. So that's how we ended up in this mess. Wow. I say get a good strap and just get around that thing. So this is what happens when you get yourself in a pickle 
and we got ourselves in a pickle. And there's this great family over here who tried to help us. And you can see they're taking some video too. And this is the kind of thing that goes on YouTube to show what not to do in your bus. I only have about 30% power, so I might run out of uh, video, but uh, I'm going to cut it off and I'll set another video up as we go along. I mean, to get in front of it. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to get in it. Okay. Put it in neutral, but cut your wheels hard to the left. To the left. To the left. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is hook it on your head so we don't damage anything. And we're gonna pull you back right across this grass area. Yeah, that's what he said. We'd have to be, be sliding out. Huh? We're gonna be sliding out. Yeah, I'm gonna slide you a little bit, but also pull you backwards and so put it in neutral. Alright. Okay. Okay, thanks. And just watch this guy here. He'll tell you when to hit your brakes and whatever. Okay, you'll be right by my... Uh, yeah, he'll my, be right up there. All right. Okay, I don't know how that looked on camera, but uh, what we're going to try and do is uh, I'm going to cut this hard left, and he's going to try and pull us out. So this may end up being a, a three-video trip because uh, I'm sure the, the um, driving instructor doesn't want to be on camera anymore, although he, he really didn't do anything terribly wrong. And he's a great guy. And my wife is taking care of the dog because the dog freaks out over all these diesel trucks. So I'm going to sign off for now and come back on a little bit later. But it's been an adventure. Well, obviously, I didn't get the footage of the actual pulling out. But uh, these guys did a great job. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, we're out. Uh, no damage done to the rig. Uh, can't say the same for the state park. And I feel terrible about that. Um, but it won't be the first or the last time they tell me and not to worry about it. So here we are. And uh, this is what happens when you get stuck in a, in a state park. Don't do that. So this is the first video of what not to do.